Hi boys and girls. We're back with our old friend Hi-Hat today and today Hi-Hat is going to teach us a new sound. This sound is the E sound. Now do you see that bar across that the top of the E sound? Whenever you see that bar you know that that sound is going to be the long sound and it's gonna sound just like its name. So when we have that bar across, this is the E sound. And I has a story for us that's gonna help us learn the E sound. Now when I read this story, I want you to be good listeners and listen for all the words that have the E sound. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. One day, Hi-Hat had decided to explore the bottom of the sea. He pulled on his diving hat and he swam down, 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 down. There in the deep sea, Hi-Hat found his old friend, Eli Eel. Poor Eli Eel was feeling about as sad and uneasy as an eel can feel. Hi-Hat always wants to help everyone in need, so he asked Eli, what seems to be the problem, my eely friend? I would love to help you if I can. Because we all know how Hyatt loves to be a helper and help his friends. Oh, Mr. Hyatt, said Eli Eel, I feel so lonely. My friends are afraid to come near me because they get shocked by my electricity. Don't worry about that, Eli, said Hi-Hat. I have just what you need. And he reached into his magic pocket and he pulled out an electric switch. <gasps> he put the switch onto Eli's back and said, Now, whenever your friends want to come over to play, you can just switch off your electricity for the day. And after they're safely gone, you can turn the electric power on again. Oh, Eli was so relieved, he thanked Hi-Hat and he swam away to see his friends. Hi-Hat went away smiling because he made Eli ill so happy. And we all know that more than anything else, Hi-Hat likes to help people. Now, today I have written some words on the board that have the E sound. And I'm going to see if you can help me read those special words. I'm going to take Hi-Hat's pointer and I'm going to point out this is the E sound. And up here I have the word eat, each, eel. And that was what our story was about today. Hi-Hat's friend, an eel, but E, E, feet, sweet, meat, free, and tea. Now, there's something special that you are going to get to do today. Hi-Hat has taught us two sounds, and we're going to put those two sounds together, and you're going to be able to read a word. Now, here is our sounds that Hi-Hat has taught us. He taught us the mmm sound and the E sound. Now I have put those two sounds together up on our board. I have M mm and E. And when we put them together and we say M, mm E, M, mm E, and we say them real fast, me, then we make the word me. You just learned to read a word. M, mm E, me. Now, I want you to go around the house and I want you to look for all kinds of things in your house that have the E sound and maybe even the M sound and you show them to your mommies and daddies and say, oh, this has the E sound. Eat and T and I see you over there. C has the E sound. And look for words that have the mmm sound, like in me. You have a great day. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.